In this video, we're going to take a look at how to install the firmware on your RTB2000. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the RNS Oscilloscopes webpage, and then you're going to scroll down until you see the RTB2000. You'll click on that. Within the RTB2000, as you scroll down a little bit, you'll see some different areas where there are downloads. And you want to say, show all downloads, and then we'll go to firmware. Um, when you go into the firmware, there's a couple different options. One has the release notes. Um, another one has an open source acknowledgement. You want the firmware version. And so the latest firmware version is 2.202. Um, when you click on that, it'll download as a zip. And when it downloads as a zip, what you're going to end up with is um, two different files. So the rtb2002.fwu and an rtb2004.fwu. Um, it depends on how many channels you have on your RTB2000. If it's a two-channel model, you want the 2002. If it's a four-channel, you want the 2004. You'll then take and you'll go ahead and insert or put that file onto a thumb drive. And when you put that file onto a thumb drive, you're going to load it or put it the thumb drive into the RTB2000. You'll go ahead and go into the RTB2000's um, interface. You'll go menu and go ahead and scroll down until you get to where it says setup. And within setup, um, again, there's a couple options here. The main one that you're going to want to do is this firmware update. And when you click firmware update with that USB um, thumb drive inserted, it'll pop up and it'll say if you have a new version that you can install. And so it'll say new and it'll say what the new version is and what version you have right now. You want to go ahead and click execute. It'll go through, it'll execute um, the installation. And then when you're done, um, you'll go ahead and exit out of that. And we typically recommend that you go in then and you run a self-alignment after you've updated the firmware. And so to run a self-alignment, you go to setup and you go self-alignment right here. You disconnect everything from the front of the scope. And um, it takes about five to 10 minutes for the self-alignment to run through and you'll be um, ready to rock and roll after that.